polluted with uh, chemicals, with uh, all another pollutants, will no, no will be no snails and no hatar at all. So that's why people of this village trying to take care about these beetles. Here a lot of different interesting photos indicating small tiny photos and small stories about about it. For example, here in the summertime, uh, many insects appear. So here, for example, portraits, portraits of uh, grasshoppers, portraits of spider, portraits of butterf night moths, uh, dragonflies. On a close distance, on a macro distance, insects looks very, very nice. Very, how Japanese say, kawaii. Kawaii, so it means nice. Lovely. Lovely. Here just mimicry, mimicry. Here are some photos under the under the water. So with some larvae of a dragonflies and hunting larvae by hunting for fish, for example. And here even some eggs of aquatic bugs because of lakes, water parties and streams. There are a lot of aquatic beetles, Dytiscidae, hydrophilidid beetles, other families of aquatic beetles, and aquatic bugs or hemiptera belonging to cor Corixidae, Hydrometridae, and all these tiny beetles and bugs were living under the water, laying eggs like this, tiny eggs, very nice, all oh, these eggs. Even one aquatic bug is very big, I'm not sure if it's here, yeah, like this one. This aquatic bug is a really huge, really huge, I guess a little bit less than this beta, this. And, all oh, right, approximately, a little bit lesser than this termite, termite. And this bug is laying eggs in water, but finally laying eggs on the surface of its back, just on the back of his body. And carrying all this package of eggs, just protecting eggs from another predators, because other bugs and other insects and animals want to eat it, making four special four and then with this four put them just knee on the on the body okay here about spiders kamakiri sensei was hunting for this bug in near the stream okay here black color is here tiny tiny dots with the fireflies And here, because of summer, a lot of wasps. Wasps are very common in, in Japan, definitely. This is polystine, polystes wasps, polystes wasps, which are making not very big nests. So this is photos of hygiene and emergence and metamorphosis of dragonfly. Metamorphosis of dragonfly. Very careful observation to take photos step by step, all stages, all stages of metamorphosis. Okay, and here in September, in September, this is a part with a different grasshoppers. So here, the molten process of grasshopper, difficult to see, but there is a, just like a field with some watermelons, with some watermelons and some, one gra green grasshopper, is just molting, just taking also the process of metamorphosis, taking off his skin. So in autumn time, in August, in September time, a lot of dragonflies flying around because this is a cycle of the development. So dragonflies flying and laying eggs under the water or inside water or inside aquatic plants. So very interesting subject to study dragonflies 
here are some beetles and aquatic beetles with Dytiscidae. Dytiscidae also huge number of Dytiscidae living in different waters, water lakes and ponds. They are molting of aquatic insects. So collecting insects with a light, very productive, very easy. So here some photos of butterflies. And here, for instance, a photo of different aquatic insects collected just in water. Here actually shells, shells of different insects, shells of cicadas, shell of dragonflies, shell of this aquatic bug, aquatic bug, here this shell of mantis, rain mantis, shell of this aquatic bug as well. So very interesting, funny collection, even shells of spider as well. So with not a golem metabolus or hemi metabolus insect, which I may making whole hemi metabolus metamorphosis, slow development and taking off skin. Yes. All right. Here in September, this is very nice cricket. This cricket is very popular in Japan because making special noise, very nice, very tiny noise. Even there, there were special case cages, handmade cages in Japan to carry this, to breed this cricket, to catch, breed, and keep this cricket in cage, in wooden cage, just to enjoy the sun. How this cricket is singing to the sun inside the cage, maybe cage, and cage is portable from house to house, just to enjoy the, the noise, enjoy the noise, here, here collection, here this also, again some palistes, and I wanted to show here some big, okay, here, rice paddy fields and some tiny parasitoids, as I you can see here this braconid parasitoids, calcid parasitoids, like behind of me, Calci calcidide, and this is braconide family, Calci braconide family. And in rice paddy field, which is already after harvesting, all insects were just hibernating, overwintering. Here are some spiders, and here are some Yes, here this uh, very big Asian Asian hornet was yes, very it's a very big Asian hornet in subspecies Vespa mandarina in China and Vespa japonica in Japan and some in other species which are um, very close uh, species of hornets very very big very big about size of this uh, grasshopper so just half of my finger so pretty big about four centimeters long so they're making more or less huge nests and hornets uh, very dangerous it's considered they, they even kill some few people every every year because they're very dangerous and stinging very hard Actually, fortunately, I have never seen this uh, very nice and very big hornet. In Ukraine, in Russia, hornet is very common, but we have a hornet Vespa Europea, which is smaller. Vespa mandarina from China already was recorded a species penetrating the borders and appeared in United States and another species from China Vespa Velutina appeared in Europe. So maybe this very big species Vespa giant giant Asian hornet Vespa Mandarina Vespa Japonica can appear in certain period of time somewhere in European and in Asian regions as well. 
who knows never knows because all this transportation and migration of people now just from one side is limited but nevertheless all just invasive species together appearing in new places together with goods together with containers with cars with coaches with airplanes so some insects with wind as well so with wind so people are migrating globally and insects are migrating globally people are buying insects buying insects and people are buying not only insects people are buying different food different goods different furniture everything packed in packages so some insects crawling and migrating to new areas like Europe America or to Japan as well from another areas so 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 or very nice grasshoppers also acridids acrids acrids very nice with a very long nose very long nose you see here this is a very tiny grasshopper with a very short very short antenna but usually this type of grasshopper has a long long antenna but if he has a very long nose this will be acrids acrids also very common in, in japan and of course there are a lot of very tiny parasitoids parasitoids tiny parasitoids which are hidden from naked eyes so they're hidden somewhere in grass in trees they are hunting for another insects for another insects because parasitoids were developing inside another insect were larvae definitely and it's possible to collect them easily with a special method and this method is called yellow pen traps so yes i'm very pleased to introduce if you use yellow pen traps it was easy to put it it is easy to put it and i've been using it in different countries so only one feature you need to use bright color yellow pen traps better with lemon colors or even with little bit orange color more or less suitable and deeper yellow pen trap is the better like this one deeper the better here about 250 millimeter milligram milliliters of water larger also will be better because the evaporation will be less so you need to fill this plate with the water not with just with water we prepare a special solu solution liquid water one spoon of shampoo detergent and one spoon of salt mix it in in a box in a bottle and then fill each of these plates on a distance between them 30 millimeters one millimeter and insects very tiny insects will be jumping will be jumping with the crawling will be slowly moving and catching will be collected will be caught inside these plates these plates you can manage you can put it on the grass some fly will be flying and fall down because they will be attracted with light because of light yellow color with light some will be attracted with a sense of water because it will be on the surface of around so some will be crawling and want to get water like ants so i uh, were slightly annoying so we will be drawn ag again so sometimes many many ants will be drawn but others will be just flying and jumping and drawn as well so yellow pen traps very good traps for collecting insects everywhere around also in japan after collecting you need to fill this time Mm, you need to use this small aquarium net put here the water like this for example here a lot of insects you use the water you fill 
yes you feel in here all insects and you are bringing these insects go to home to laboratory clean it clean it under the fresh water under the fresh water about uh, five minutes to five minutes and then put it in container with 100 or 96 percent alcohol put it in container don't worry about insects they will be with some small pieces of uh, leaves sticks uh, some dust but still they will be very flexible easy to put them here because of mesh is very strong mesh is very tight here for baby fish for baby fish less than one millimeter so that's why you can collect here not only big insects more than five millimeters but the smallest less than one millimeter so all of these can be collected and then fixed not in such plastic jar but in such small jars for example it's easier to use some just like this with tightly closed lid close it so alcohol will not evaporate will be and drop here inside the label with description country city province date name of collector and date of collecting and place of collecting so the time don't forget few days you, if you collect it and this material will be very useful for study if you made it in japan or in any other countries so i'm very pleased to explain this method of collecting with the yellow pen traps all this because this is very fruitful method for hunting insects for collecting insects such a lazy method but of course sorting sorting from these plates not so lazy because you need to clean one clean two clean three and bring them to the laboratory all these insects carefully despite they are just flexible and they're slightly rigid so be careful bringing it to laboratory and fix insects in alcohol in such kind of jars and it will be very useful material for scientific study so otherwise you can use collected insects and put them in special boxes on a cotton lawyers so many japanese people making collections so i have also made a collection so you see this box also with collection and here some special cotton lawyers envelopes tightly closed so no one small tiny insect as a pest will come you need to make this type of envelope so you see this one was envelope was done in japan you can recognize some rape and sign from japan i made some colorful pictures here and this envelope if you collect it insects dry you can put them dry and cotton close it here once you got i show you like this one put insects on cotton lawyer right here the label where it was collected and you can close with the filter paper just do not allow them to jump to miss them and to mix all together just because they are on label so each insect will be separated separately in a special quadru quadrate quadrate with a label country place date collector and plant where it was collected day and maybe even time and then just you need to put it in container fix it close it 
and many Japanese people like collecting insects and it's very good because this is a real national heritage to keep collection of insects and of course give it for the study to experts because a lot of entomologists, professional entomologists in Japan some professional entomologists study parasitic wasps if you are interested in identification of parasitic wasps or parasitic egg parasitoids so I will be very pleased to contact with you to make identification of your parasitic wasps parasitic wasps like this tiny parasitic wasp of this family Trichogrammatide they are very small less than one millimeter I have my dog relaxed with me very tiny dog so my parasitoid is also very very tiny 0 0.5 millimeter so if you collect them in alcohol in alcohol in special in small jars even your material will not be sorted we can sort this material for identification and in among this unsorted material we can select with a brush with a tiny brush just amount this tiny material and with small forceps with small pins we can select small tiny parasitoids like this like here this tiny yeah, you can see cannot see but on another video see this is trichogrammatide family tiny parasitic was for identification and for searching in the search of uh, new fauna species maybe new species for the science maybe new record for the fauna of special territory so if you are living in some areas which are unstudied but in japan for instance many places are still unstudied regarding tiny parasitic wasps but if you are in other areas close to japan or other places you can use this yellow pen traps for collecting and can contact me as expert for identification and of course if it was interesting information for you please contact me on skype or you can use my patreon page patreon page this is crowdfunding platform with explanation of my video recording projects so visit patreon page i will be really very pleased for your financial support because financial support means some motivation and gives some flexibilities in you know, buying some equipment some cages some cameras just renovating camera and making equipment better with better quality video as well so and uh, participating in patreon you will be participating personally in creation of new my video together with you so your support is invaluable valuable and at the same time really invaluable because this is face-to-face -face support to the science entomology and study of insects and invertebrates biodiversity in the search of new records new species recording new unstudied behavior and interesting biology of insects because today i was talking about insects living in japan but on my video you can see different insects which are living everywhere around here in ukraine or in other countries so thank you for watching write your co comments and questions under under my video and looking forward to see you a subscriber on my channel press like write your comments and ask your questions and subscribe if you are first time bye bye see you soon on my channel